Hello everyone, welcome back to the FT Share channel. This video will explain the Top Fuel Dragster Part 2, or drag racing with the fiercest engine. Especially the reason why this engine design uses the Hemi engine and OHV for the valve system. Without further ado, let's get started. OHV, or overhead valve engine, means that a vehicle has implemented a valve system in its head. However, what distinguishes DOHC and SOHC is the position of the camshaft because the camshaft is usually located at the head. But, on the OHV valve system, the camshaft position is on the side or the top of the crankshaft, which is its own characteristic. Well, FYI, the OHV valve system itself was first discovered by Walter Lorenzo Marr in 1898 and was mounted on a tricycle. But because this valve system is considered attractive, a company called the Buick Auto Team and Power Company, led by David Berner Buick, recruited Mars as an engineer at the company. And a result, the development of OHV has accelerated. After it became widely known, finally OHV system licenses began to be sold to other companies. And OHV started to be mass-produced in 1906. So, what about the mechanism and parts of this valve system? The components consist of gear trains connecting the camshaft and crankshaft with a rotation ratio of 2 to 1. Then the next part has its own camshaft. Further to the top is a lifter, push rod, rocker arm, spring, and valve, which are the main components of this valve system. Next, for its working mechanism. Everything starts from the crankshaft rotation, transmitted to the camshaft via the gear train. Then the rotation of the camshaft will push the lifter attached directly to the surface of the camshaft and follow the shape of the cam profile. Then the thrust generated by the camshaft will be transmitted through the push rod to the rocker arm. Of course, the rocker arm receiving the power will rotate and move the valve to open. And the last step, the spring will push the rocker arm back to its original position, which is closing. Here is the unique part. Because OHV uses a stick as a push road to move the valve, this valve system also has the nickname. A pushrod engine. Maybe a question will arise here. What are the advantages of this one valve to the point that the top fuel dragster uses this OHV valve system? The first advantage is that this car has crazy power, which is in the engine's 10,000 to 13,000 horsepower range. The top fuel dragster must use an OHV valve system to handle its durability and power. And the second advantage is the use of relatively large valves and stiff springs. This is risky if they use a chain from OHC valve systems. The OHV with its gear train and push road is considered more qualified. Okay, those are two reasons why the top fuel dragster uses the OHV valve system. But there is something very unfortunate about this valve system, namely its shortcomings. The first drawback is that this valve system uses a lot of parts, and the camshaft placement is far away. Of course, it will make a heavier load for the valve spring. And from that, it makes this OHV easier to experience valve floating, and gives this valve system a low red line. And for the second drawback, this valve system can only use two valves per cylinder because the load is already quite heavy. In fact, there are still many more shortcomings in this valve system. Such as, the engine size is larger, and the fuel consumption is more wasteful compared to other valve systems. But if we talk about top fuel, these two shortcomings are not a big problem. Okay, those are the advantages and disadvantages and why the top fuel dragster still uses this OHV valve system. And what about the Hemi engine that this monster uses? What are the reasons for the advantages and disadvantages? Okay, let's start with a bit of history first. Historically, the Hemi engine was first produced by an American manufacturer called the Welch Motor Touring Car Company in 1903. And for the word Hemi itself, it has a meaning of half-spherical, where this Hemi engine has the characteristic of its half-spherical chamber. However, its application in the top fuel dragster is reduced. The reason is to pursue a high compression ratio. Now, from its half-spherical shape, this causes the top fuel dragster to use only two valves. The reason is that, suppose we use four valves per cylinder, apart from the torque that goes down. In that case, the engine's weight will also increase, as we mentioned before. And, more spring means more power needed to be done every power cycle. Of course, that condition will reduce torque at low RPM and acceleration of the vehicle. Yes, as we know, the heavier a vehicle, the more acceleration performance will decrease even though the engine torque is quite large. And from the use of these two valves, two other advantages can be obtained. 
Namely, there is space left in the head, considering that the engine will be supplied with a crazy amount of fuel, which can cause a water hammer if the combustion process is not qualified. Therefore, with more space in the head, it is possible to use two spark plugs at once. From the use of these two spark plugs, is expected to be able to burn all the supplied air fuel mixture and produce even better torque. This means we can conclude that it can have better acceleration. And again, this spark plug also only works for a few seconds when the gas pedla is pressed before it fouls due to too rich of fuel mixture supply. Then the rest of the engine will work with the diesel engine cycle. That's also why we said earlier the head dome is smaller than regular Hemi engines. There is nothing else to pursue the compression ratio required by diesel power cycles in the 15 to 25 to 1 range. On the other hand, maybe from the explanation just now, someone was confused about what is called a water hammer. In short, the water hammer is a liquid condition that almost fills the chamber space, and due to the nature of the fluid, it is difficult to compress. This condition can cause damage to its internal parts. But it should also be noted that fuel is supplied on top fuel dragster because of overload. Most water hammers can usually happen when the road conditions are flooded, then we get water in our intake. Okay, and that's why the top fuel dragster uses the OHB valve system and the Hemi engine cylinder head. The goal is to get torque, as high as possible to achieve the maximum acceleration. And to maximize the OHV and Hemi engine systems, one more part is needed. That can increase torque and acceleration. Namely, the cross-plane crankshaft model, which is always present in muscle cars and Yamaha motorcycles, where the crankshaft has an angle of 90 degrees for each crankpin. Of course, this will produce smooth power and better torque to accelerate. Okay, let's think that's all for the information we can share in this video. And for the following parts, we will discuss the fuel electrical oil system and others, so don't forget to hit the subscribe button. See you in the following videos, and thanks for watching.